Glute activation. We hear that term a lot, right? But what does it actually mean? What are we activating? What we're doing is trying to get your glutes to fire more powerfully. They're not dead, they're not asleep, they're maybe just a little bit inhibited from sitting, shortened hip flexors, and all kinds of other stuff. So let's look at some moves you can start doing. Amanda Brooks here, running coach and author with some moves to get your booty fired up. So these are things to add to your pre-run warm-up. I swear I say that a lot, but it's only because it's true. So particularly if you have noticed that you don't feel like your glutes are firing, these are a great place to start. A number of these are things I have worked with physical therapists on, but also just things that I've seen work for our runners. So in the first one, you're getting into what looks similar to a pigeon pose from yoga. So you are down, you have your leg curled under you. The extended leg that is back, you want to use your glute to straighten the leg. So it's not pressing into the toe, it's not letting your quad do the work. Your glute is doing the work. Glute. If other things are taking over, it's not working. So. That's move number one. Once you feel that starting to fire, then we're gonna move on to move number two, which is the classic hip bridge or glute bridge. This is a stellar movement that gets overlooked because it is so basic. But what you are doing is pressing through your heels and coming up to create a straight line basically from your knees to your head. So. If you can go up and hold there, do that for a little bit, lower and raise. Once you get really good, I've got another video you can check out where you add in variations, like a little bit of a march or a single leg, but your glute has to be fully working before you do those. So don't be afraid to do the dang basics, folks. All right. Next, I want to look at how you're doing some of your lifts because the way you're actually positioning your feet when you do certain lifts could be making the movement more quad focused instead of glute focused. So let's start with number one, which is a squat. So holding a dumbbell in front of you. When your feet are pretty much hip width apart, you are likely going to be utilizing your quads more. We need powerful quads as runners, but right now we're trying to figure out how to really work that booty. So what I want you to do is actually spread your feet slightly wider than hip width and your toes will even point out just a little bit. Now we have more glute engagement to make the movement work. Awesome. And another move that is amazing for runners is the Bulgarian split squat. To get more glute activation out of it, once again, we are actually spreading out the stance. So you're gonna be a little bit farther away from where you have your foot propped up and thinking about that. The closer we are, again, the more quad activation we're getting. So nothing wrong with that, but when we want glutes, you need to know how to activate them. All right, I hope these were some quick tips you can take away to start using right now to make a difference in your runs. As always, hit like and let me know if there are other things you wanna hear about.